Question 16. What is meant by Internet Protocol? Answer. The IP protocol transmits datagram from one host to another, if necessary via intermediate routers. There are several header fields that are used by the transmission and routing algorithms. Question 17. Define mobile IP? Answer. Mobile IP is an Internet Engineering Task Force IETF, standard communications protocol that is designed to allow mobile device users to move from one network to another while maintaining their permanent IP address, defined in request for comments. RFC 2002, Mobile IP is an enhancement of the Internet Protocol IP that adds mechanisms for forwarding Internet traffic to mobile devices known as mobile nodes when they are connecting through other than their home network. Question 18. What is the architectural model? Answer. An architectural model defines the way in which the components of system interact with one another and the way in which they are mapped onto an underlying network of computers. Question 19. What is the fundamental model? Answer. Fundamental models that help to reveal key problems for the designers of distributed systems. Their purpose is to specify the design issues, difficulties and threats that must be resolved in order to develop distribute systems that fulfill their tasks correctly, reliable and secure. The fundamental mode provides abstract views of just those characteristics of distributed systems that affect the dependability characteristics, correctness, reliability and security. Question 20. Write about the parts available in routing algorithm. Answer. Routing algorithm has two parts. It must make decisions that determine the route taken by each packet as it travels through the network. In circuit-switched network layers such as X.25 and frame relay networks such as ATM the route is determined whenever a virtual circuit or connection is established. In packet-switched network layers such as IP it is determined separately for each packet. And the algorithm must be particularly simple and efficient if it is not to degrade network performance. It must dynamically update its knowledge of the network based on traffic monitoring and the detection of configuration changes or failures. This activity is less time-critical, slower and more computation-intensive techniques can be used. Question 21. What is meant by inter-process communication? Answer. Inter-process communication is concerned with the communication between processes in a distributed system, both in its own right and as support for communication between distributed objects. The Java API for inter-process communication in the Internet provides both datagram and stream communication. Question 22. What is the difference between RMI and RPC? Answer. Remote procedure call or the RPC and the remote method invocation or RMI are both message passing techniques in the inter-process communication IPC, but there are two basic differences between the two methods. RPC supports procedural programming, i.e. only remote procedures can be invoked, whereas RMI is object-based. As the name suggests, it is invoked on remote objects. In RPC, the parameters that are passed are ordinary data structures, whereas in RMI, objects can be passed as parameters. Question 23. Define datagram? Answer. A datagram is, to quote the Internet's request for comments 1594, a self-contained, independent entity of data carrying sufficient information to be routed from the source to the destination computer without reliance on earlier exchanges between the source and destination computer and the transporting network. The term is used in several well-known communication protocols, including the User Datagram Protocol and Apple Talk. Question 24. What is the use of UDP? Answer. The domain name service DNS, which looks up DNS names in the Internet, is implemented over UDP. UDP datagrams are sometimes an attractive choice because they do not suffer from overheads associated with guaranteed message delivery. Question 25. What is meant by client-server communication? Answer. The client-server model of computing is a distributed application structure that partitions tasks or workloads between the providers of a resource or service called servers, and service requesters, called clients. Question 26. What is meant by group communication? Answer. Group communication is a multicast operation is more appropriate. This is an operation that sends a single message from one process to each of the members of a group of process, usually in such a way that the membership of the group is transparent to the sender. Question 27. What is the use of RMI registry? Answer. 
The RMI registry is used to store a list of available services. A client uses the registry to make its proxy object and the registry is responsible for giving appropriate information to the client so that it can hook up with the server that implements the service. Question 28. Difference between synchronous and asynchronous communication? Answer. In synchronous form of communication, the sending and receiving processes synchronize at every message. In this case, both send and receive are blocking operations. Whenever a send is issued the sending process is blocked until the corresponding receive is issued. Whenever receive is issued, the process blocks until a message arrives. In asynchronous form of communication, the use of the send operation is non-blocking in that the sending process is allowed to proceed as soon as the message has been copied to a local buffer and the transmission of the message proceeds in parallel with the sending process. The receive operation can have blocking and non-blocking variants. Question 29. What is marshalling and unmarshalling? Answer. Marshalling is the process of taking a collection of data items and assembling them into a form suitable for transmission in a message. Unmarshalling is the process of disassembling them on arrival to produce an equivalent collection of data items at the destination. Question 30. What is CDR? Answer. CORBA CDR is the external data representation defined with CORBA 2.0. CDR can represent all of the data types that can be used as arguments and return values in remote invocation in CORBA. It consists of 15 primitive types that include short, 16 bits, long, 32 bit, unsigned short, unsigned long, float, 32 bit, double, 64 bit, char, boolean, true or false, octet, 8 bit, and any constructed type. Types. 